Well, after a couple of weeks of being tossed around at anchor in some pretty rolly anchorages, we finally came to a spot where it's dead calm. We anchored between Isla Cedro and Isla Jesuita, and we wanted to take the opportunity for patching up a couple of the Holston cow look that Carl had been producing just below the wooden rug rail where the water always gets in where the boats sit. And Mark was just supposed to patch those up, but somehow he poured too much of the Total Boat Wet Edge Top Coat paint. And because there was a bunch of paint left over, I decided to monkey shine the railing a little bit. And then the railing looked super beautiful, all white and shiny and glossy. And then the cockpit looked really bad. I, you probably noticed that the cockpit has always looked pretty bad. Or well, not always, but years ago I was monkey shining the cockpit and because I put a one component paint on top of the existing one component paint and they didn't match. So the paint never really dried properly. So whenever you would touch it with your skin, it would leave marks and it got really nasty and dirty. So we opened up a massive project and decided to repaint the whole cockpit. So all the little holes that there are in the deck from moving stuff around and placing it in different things or taking things off that I don't need anymore. I'm gonna put some Gorilla Tape from the inside and then I'm gonna put some, fill all the holes with epoxy. And then the big one that's the ventilation for the old heater, the one that I took out, I'm gonna put some plastic on the back side and then also put some epoxy on top of it. This is what someone told me, I actually never checked on this, but apparently it's very likely that one component paint and another one component paint are not compatible and won't work. But a two component paint you can put on any kind of paint. So not sure if that's true, but it's worked so far for me. So I'm keeping with it. So we put one layer, like a thin layer of primer in between the last top coat and the new top coat. We had a massive rainstorm, thunderstorm last night, but I think the paint was just dry enough that it didn't get damaged. So today it's time for coat number two. So to brighten up the cockpit, we're using the Total Boat Wet Edge Top Coat. Wow, what an amazing change. All nice and shiny again. Now I think it's time for a celebratory beer and some well-deserved land adventure.
Amidst the serenity of this island anchorage, the usual sobering sight confronts us. The shore is tarnished by scattered plastic trash, a consequence of inadequate waste management. But just a short distance away, Boga discovers some playful canine friends. Their joyous interaction uplifts our spirits, reminding us of the simple, beautiful pleasures found in nature. So it looks like there's a little path that goes over to the other side of the island where there's a school and the center of the island, which we're excited to see. And then on the other side, there's another beach where there's crazy bioluminescence going on at night. And they said that sometimes there's 150 people on that beach to see it, which is a lot. So when you get to the first beach, leaving the anchorage and then you walk to the end where there's the big trash pile burning then you go up the hill and through the jungle and then you can make your way to the other beaches along this little island it's really pretty mm -hmm. I guess it's possible that I'm repeating myself on camera, but I'm not sure if we're still on the path. <laughs> it sort of looks a little bit off path, potentially. Estos troncos tampoco son conectados. ¡Ay! Que llegamos al otro lado, pero mm, camino creo. Mm, no lo creo. We're sort of walking along this nasty barbed wire fence that's on the ground. If you don't have any tetanus shots, it's probably fairly lethal. <laughs> well, we got to some sort of lookout point, but since it's not like a touristy lookout point, you couldn't really see much because it was slightly grown over. So we're on the other side of the island. Well, on top of a hill. So we're gonna make our way back until we find something where we could potentially take a right and then get off this hill and hopefully make it back to our anchorage just before the usual afternoon storm. We have about an hour, I think. Returning to our sanctuary just in time, we were greeted by the familiar afternoon invasion of hundreds of chatty Cathys. These vibrant green parrots, mostly seen flying in pairs, congregated in their beloved tree and filling the air with their lively chatter. 
As the night descends, their voices subside, and I will let you enjoy a moment of this blissful tranquility at anchor that I don't want to live without ever again. I think it's been nearly three weeks now that we painted the cockpit or maybe two weeks I'm not sure I've lost track of time but <laughs> once we had left the Golf of Nicoya we went into some sort of infierno <laughs> some sort of hell of <laughs> rolly anchorages and it's it's been it's been pretty intense and since it's nice and sunny for a change and it's a calm bay I'm gonna finish the cockpit project we haven't been able to paint the non-skid yet and we realized that actually we used the aft area a lot more than we thought and Bora is not happy with not having the non-skid and even for us when it's raining it's a little slippery and I'm also gonna paint some of the non-skid on the next to the winches where we step on to get out of the cockpit because for us it's not really necessary but Boba uses it a lot and I think it will make it a lot easier for her to get in and out of the cockpit. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Slap on some total boat, total tread non-skid on those areas. It's looking pretty good already out there. Well, now we're gonna come to my personal favorite part in painting, which is taking off the masking tape. Well, let me know in the comments which is your favorite part of painting, and maybe also leave a little comment for Carl telling him that he's looking pretty dapper. Ta-da-da! And this is the new cockpit paint. Still missing the second coat of Total Boat Total Tread, but because it's uh, marking my last days before he goes home and Paul is just about to arrive, who I haven't seen in a year, I'm gonna postpone the second coat for a little later. And for now, we're just gonna enjoy the beautiful new paint of Carl. Thank you, Total Boat, for sponsoring the paint. It's looking mighty shiny, mighty clean, and I think we're ready for receiving Paul for an arrival beer here in Cos. Shining your cockpit! Yay!